تعرفنا على بعضنا باللبنان هابينينج وتعشينا مع بعضنا كفينا ورحنا عندهم على الشركة وطبخنا لهم وتسلينا وانبسطنا وشفنا كيف يهتموا بمصفينهم رجعنا كمان اليوم قررت أن نقضي نهار مع بعض مايكل زلمة كتير رايق كتير كتير رايق بيعرف حاله شو بده سوبر محترم طلعنا قضينا نهار حتى بالفراري تور وشفنا كيف السواقة يعني صار في صحبة بيناتنا قلت له ليه ما بتخبرني عن انت كيف تشتغل كيف تعمله شو اكزاكتلي بنعمل وعم بلش فتش اكثر واكثر اند ديجينج انتو ليش اللبنانية هالقد بيشتغلوا بالكونستراكشن ليش اكبر الشركات اللبنانية بالكونستراكشن ليش كل بناية يمكن وحدة على اثنين هالقد صاحبها او لبنان او ناس بيشتغلوا فيها لبنانية كيف اللبنانية بنيو استراليا وسيدني خاصة نهار طويل رح نبلشه اليوم مع مايكل داكول يلي ربحانين اوف ماني اووردز و ذا اوورد اوف ذا اثنيك اووردز يلي صورناهم بحلقه ثانيه نهار طويل وجديد ببلش هلا اجتمعنا فيك اليوم بالمكتب عندنا وشربنا قهوه ورجعنا قلنا بدنا نروح نتفرج على كم مشروع نحن خبرناك شو الكونستراكشن كونسلتنتس بي ام كونستراكشن كونسلتنتس كيو اس بيعملوا وقلنا لك يلا ما نروح على كم مشروع ديفرنت ليفلز يعني واحد خالص يلي هو البنك سان ار اس ال كلاب اند ذا ريزيديوال ريزيدنشال يونتس اللي اللي حدوا وبدنا كمان اخذناك على ال كمان بدنا نروح على مشروع uh, تقريبا uh, 200 مليون ان فاليو فور تشاينيز ديفلوبرز 1 كوميرشال بيلدينج تقريبا 50 مليون كونستراكشن 1 ريزيدنشال بيلدينج تقريبا 150 مليون كونستراكشن كوست وبس نخلص كمان بدنا نروح عند احلى ليبانيز بيلدرز باستراليا هن داني اند سليم يلي الكمباني نيم از كولد داسكا ويل تيل يو مور اباوت داني اند سليم نيكولاس از سون از وي جيت تو ذير سايت بات ذيز ار ذا ثري جنرال سو وان كومبليتد بروجيكت ويز ويز ذا فيوتشر بلان تو دو مور وان بروجيكت ذات از سور اوف وان از نيرلي فينيش ذا كوميرشال اند وان از هاف واي ذا ريزيدنشال and another residential project. So that will give you an idea of what we do as quantity surveyors or cost engineers and project managers and manage a, a development from, from the beginning to the end. Michael de Kool is my name. Construction Consultants is uh, my company. Uh, we are in all Australia, in Sydney, Melbourne and other major Please cities. We... Um, we <laughs> We uh, basically, we, we manage projects on behalf of corporations and on behalf of developers and on behalf of individuals. So we can start with an idea of a project and we can work it through to create the original budget or the initial budget, then create further advancement of the design and further e e exploration of the design and then bring it to a level where it is Uh, it can be used for approvals and for construction. So we manage the whole process. We manage the architectural involvement. We manage the engineering involvement. We manage the, uh, uh, the, the authorities involvement. We manage the client's expectations and the client's goals. The client can buy a block of land and he doesn't know what to put on it or he has a dream that of something. The client could be a government agency, a hospital that they want to build a new hospital and what this hospital has to have in it from, from the latest equipment to, to the latest facilities. Well, the RSL here was formed in uh, uh, 1917. After the war was over, further veterans joined the club from the, from the Second World War and fundraising began and they, they purchased uh, the, by the, with a grant from a, of £10,000 in them days from a local businessman they purchased a block of their ground directly behind the hall um, they added on to the hall and made a, a, a social club out of it a return services club which you had to be in them days you had to be a return serviceman that was in other words you had to afford overseas to become a member. And the club went from uh, a very small operation into one of the biggest clubs in the local government area. We decided to sell the old club, which it was an old president uh, when I first came to the club who was in the, in the uh, 
in the club for 38 years as president. His dream was always to, to build a purpose-built club, knock down the old club, build a purpose-built club. I think his, his idea with them was to do it on the property we own. However, we, in the meantime, we'd bought um, a, three blocks of land here in the, this site we're on now on Marion Street. So we engaged with uh, Michael de Cool and his company uh, in about 2014 or then just after we'd taken possession of the, of the property to arrange a, to find a buyer for the old club, for the old club and from there to come with a plan to build a new purpose-built club on the corner of Marion and Meredith Street. Um, we had a couple of unsuccessful uh, attempts with builders. Um, finally, oh, with us, firstly with buyers for the sale of the property. We finally managed to, to organise that through Michael's uh, help and, and guidance. And then in 2017, we, we actually started to build on this new site. Uh, we were under a lot of strain because um, we only had, we'd done it, the deal with it, we'd done with um, Polly, the buyers of the property, we had only 18 months to complete the building and get out, hand over the property to them. And uh, it was quite a stressful time as far as the timeline was concerned. Um, Michael, with his crew, uh, Man managed everything from the, virtually from the from day one, working with the new builders, which uh, were, were also very helpful, uh, not very good people. And in 2018, we opened the doors. Uh, January 2018, we opened the doors of this club. And uh, unfortunately, in 2019, late 1920, um, we ran into COVID and uh, COVID uh, shut our doors for nearly 12 months, nine months or something. And uh, it's taken us a fair while to get back, but we're now trading in a very successfully and, and um, our membership has increased. We have went from about 14,000 members maximum in the old club. We now have somewhere around 40,000 members and uh, we are one of the more successful clubs in the area. Well, we were approached by the club, we were introduced to the club many, many years ago, and we were handling small projects in the old club and in the other old club at Bass Hill, extensions, uh, new areas, uh, refurbishment, renovations, and then we, uh, and then we started working uh, on the idea of a brand new club and getting rid of this old building that was extremely difficult to maintain and uh, there was a lot of money spent just on maintenance and keeping it open while being safe. So um, imagine you had, the club had around 20,000 square meters. The old club was sitting on around 15,000 square meters so we kept five, a quarter of the land, which is 5,000 square meters and we said this is where we're going to build a brand new club with parking, with uh, possibilities for a stage two project which is a hotel and and other facilities on top um, and um, we we started designing everything we even designed the block next door which is 15,000 square meters and we managed to do a master plan for around 650 units with commercial on the ground floor we'll have a look at that in a in a, in a minute from the uh, from the roof but yes, there's obviously there's a lot of challenges with everything. Um, we had to go through the approvals and, and that was done fairly quickly. Then we had to find a good builder. Uh, uh, Alan Yazbek and his team from Infinity were the, the su successful tenders. They did an amazing job, beautiful crew. It was very easy to deal with. The club, uh, Bruce and Scott and everybody else are also amazing to deal with. They're very honourable, very straightforward. There's no, and then, and then you'll we created something that is not as nowhere near as big as the old club, but it's superb and it's beautiful and it's very and and very welcoming as such. Um, there was a lot of issues encountered, obviously, like we have 
the telecommunication easement that runs alongside uh, the car park or the basement car park, which was a huge challenge because they are just old pipes and we, are to, we couldn't even come near them or touch them. We had the flight path because there's a small airport in here in the Bankstown area. So everything that we did, including cranes and everything else, was, had, to be, um, had to be approved and had, we, had to be, we had to be uh, uh, careful as such and, and, and work within the flight path of the airport. And we are on, on two main roads, so that, that affected everything. So this is a very busy city. Uh, and so forth, but the result is amazing and everybody's happy and obviously the result is there. The membership has gone like three times more and if it wasn't for COVID, we would have been in a much better situation, but I'd, I'd say COVID affected everybody. So the idea of a, a, a project management team like construction consultants is to assist the client from an idea to execution and, and finalization. And this is a perfect example. So everything starts with a budget in every project. So we work with clubs, we work with hospitals, universities, um, sporting uh, facilities. Everything starts, the first step is a budget. So we are, account, we, we, are, we are quantity surveyors or cost engineers and we also have the project management arm. So every corner in this building has been designed from scratch with everybody taken. The, the kitchens were designed uh, with full coordination with the person who was going to take over these restaurants or kitchens. Um, it's a compact club, but every angle, every place, every car park uh, level, everything was designed perfectly so we can, so, uh, we can be so we can, referring back to the budget itself. Because there's always a budget. There's nothing where we, we there's nothing, nothing can work without budget. And everything, and we also think uh, with the final result. So the final result is not what you see. There's another stage on top that we are working on at the moment. That's going to be 150 room hotel with uh, another tower of, uh, of residential, another residential tower. So there's a major project that's going to happen on top. Yes, we have reinforced all the, all the footings, we have reinforced all the columns, so we can take all that. and. And we, we obviously, again, we start with a budget and what we can put in, and then we start talk to other developers and organize joint ventures with them. So that's basically, in a nutshell, how the, every job should start, with a sketch and a budget, and then everything else will start rolling. So basically coordinating the design from the entry to the heart of the club, which is gaming, and then to, to turn right to the gaming, turn left to the entertainment and family areas and we'll go to level one soon. This is the, 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 the beauty of the club, the lighting. Um, it's nowhere near as big as the old club, but it's, it's uh, just perfect for the 40,000 members that uh, are now uh, visit this club on a daily basis. So basically part of uh, the sale of the land next door is to develop 650 odd units with uh, commercial on the ground floor and car parking. Whereas we kept this section for the club, which is around 5,000 square meters. So the club now is fairly compact, as we mentioned, but the next stage will be that brand new hotel and residential development on top. And we kept this area here so we can use it for material handlings when we are building that uh, next. Uh, so we kept this area as nice and open. So this is Star Buffet. Uh, they cater for about 750 seats. Um, they have all you can eat for breakfast, or for lunch and dinner. Um, there's a great variety. There's about, I think they've got 48 different dishes um, on display. It's fresh, replenished every 10, 15 minutes when it's busy. I can't talk about here. I can't tell you about the food choices, the dishes, about the display 
قديش مرتب عن الضوء الابيض اللي ما بيعمل فليكر عن البورشنز اللي مش مجلغمين عن ال... لا واحد بيجي بياكل هون بعد ما بعدنا عم بمشي بعدنا عم بمشي بعدنا عم بمشي مينلي تشاينيز ببلش من الفاست فود اول ذا واي ان عم بياكل دومبلينجز عم بياكل يو نيم ات دي هاف ات نحن مش هون تنحكي عن الاكل نحن هون تنحكي عن الديزاين واركيتكشر وكيف فكروا بالكلوب بس ما قدرت ما هيك ما اخبركم عن الانبوت ذاتس ليرنينج جريل ابيض بزعل كثير صار على محلاته بشوف في الجريل اسود بزعل 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 انه مبين قديم قله خاصيه الجريل قد ما يستعمل فيه يضل ابيض So basically to accommodate uh, all, all the members and customers and 700 people to come for lunch, we have allowed for car parking under the, uh, under the club and above the club. So even the top level, which will eventually be the lobby for the hotel, is used at the moment as a car park. So we have around 350 uh, car parking spaces. So if you're an individual and you have a block of land and there is opportunity to develop that block of land and, and build either residential or commercial or otherwise, we help you with the, with the whole process to make sure that obviously, like I always say, the budget is number one, but there's other variables in every project that without the right approach, the right help, the right professional uh, inter, in, intervention by a company like us, it becomes a maze and becomes a losing battle. It's just impossible to win without the right uh, equipment. Uh, you can imagine us as the right equipment to, to procure a project, to make it happen and to make it successful. The, the, level, the, the definition of success in projects is eventually to make money. Nobody wants to build something that is uh, big and beautiful and then put your name on it and then you lost millions of dollars. That is the, not the aim of the exercise. So the role of the project manager, the quantity surveyor, the, 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 is to guide, uh, assess, um, uh, advise, and instruct when it comes to other uh, players like architects, engineers, and builders, and so forth. So there is, it's an art of putting things together. It's, it's, it's the art of putting things together, it's the art of organizing and as, as I was talking to a friend this morning I said the, the, the battle is coordination, the battle is dealing with people and make them understand what you want because sometimes the communication is, can, can be broken. Uh, sometimes you have to tell your client that no you cannot have that because it is XYZ, it could be too expensive or otherwise. So this is where the idea of managing a project is and, and and qualifying every aspect of the idea to make it into a reality and make it into a deliverable project. So the Lebanese involvement in the construction industry in, in New South Wales, or mainly in Sydney metropolitan area, is, is huge. Um, they, they honestly would have built 80 or 90 percent of every project in Sydney. Um, the strength of the Lebanese mind and the big heart and, and uh, often uh, taking risks and, and, uh, and making sure that whatever they do is successful. Um, a lot of the Lebanese that came to Australia, I'm assuming have come through struggle, through uh, running away from something, running away from war, running away from situations, ru running away from poverty to come to Australia and then 
they found that there's a lot of opportunities here and these opportunities most of the time are with an honorable approach they the Lebanese people had the heart to go in and say I want to make it happen and I want to I want to build this and they all start from smaller projects and then they build up to larger and larger and larger and you know and they became a huge player in this industry and uh, fortunately the majority of them have beautiful conscience and they have they have very good uh, attributes and they, they have the ability they have a superb ability to do the right thing and build a beautiful product and that's the, the that's the aim of the whole thing and as you can look around you we were in an area called Bankstown most of it was built by Lebanese developers and builders we're in an area now called Auburn we're going through an area called Auburn it's majority built by Lebanese uh, uh, developers and builders. Uh, we're heading to, towards an area called Norwest and you'll find that m many buildings, many new and existing buildings were built or are being built by Lebanese and we also have the Chinese community that came in in the last 10 years and they're working together with the Lebanese, with many Lebanese builders to create the same effect. So why the Lebanese? Just the, 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 the mental strength and, and, uh, and the uh, courage and the big heart, it, it, takes, it, takes a, uh, it takes all these attributes for someone to decide to do something with a huge amount of risk and make it happen. Because to build a building, to build you know, a high rise with residential unit, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. And it, uh, you know, we call it you know, someone with, uh, with courage in Australia, we call it someone with big balls as such, that you go in and, 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 and uh, you, you say, I want to do it, and I want to make it successful, whatever it takes. So we'll find that a lot of them have been successful. A huge majority have been successful. And thank God for that, because this whole city, this whole beautiful city, was, is, is, a, is if you like, uh, uh, presents itself for all the Lebanese hard work, the Lebanese builders that came uh, from uh, the old country and came here and became successful and, and helped other people become successful also. The only issue is Lebanese together. Unfortunately, in, there's, this is the only thing missing, I think, from our construction community or Lebanese, if you want to call it Lebanese, Australian Lebanese construction community is some sort of unity and some sort of uh, cross-pollination and some sort of um, uh, brotherhood or sisterhood or, or, or any, or I don't know what to call it, but generally you'll find this in a Jewish community where they're, they're very close to each other and they try and, and cross-pollinate and try and keep the same circle. The Lebanese, I think they're a little bit more, maybe because of their DNA, they're a little bit more um, uh, focused on their own success and, um, and, and they forget the fact that as a community their success can be much much bigger if we all work together. So that's the only thing that I believe, my personal opinion, I could be wrong, but this is where um, we lack that, that, that focal thinking that tells us, look, let's work together, let's, let's help each other, let's um, Instead of going somewhere else, we, we use each other's strength and, and we become stronger. We came to the second project that we decided to do. We have basically a mini city here. We have 300 shops on my right and a major commercial building on my left. The commercial building is advanced. So we started the firat internally and the rest of it. This one here is a little bit early in the piece, but we've nearly at the ground floor level. Our role here is we are the project managers representing the clients, and we are the QS representing the Bank of Shanghai. So these are two roles. We have a dual role in this project. The owners of this project are of Chinese origin, and they live in Hong Kong generally and Macau. And we are here their eyes and ears as such. So we report to them and to the bank. I'm uh, Steve Char. I was born in uh, Lebanon. I came out to Australia when I was four. And uh, currently now is 20, uh, 23 and been in Australia for 47 years. Mind you, I've never gone back to Lebanon, but my heart is with Lebanon.
On my left here, you'll see the commercial building. It comprises of uh, 95 suites with a restaurant with a rooftop um, outlay up the top there as well. A three basement car park. We currently have 78 uh, workers on site and we're up to level uh, five with the, with the glazing, moving on to level six this week. Yes, I think uh, the Infinity and uh, commercial and uh, this crazy. And uh, commercial and uh, we started the last year September and uh, we finish and uh, we end and I think the Apple tried to get the before and uh, crazy we start uh, actually this year, the, you know, uh, March and uh, this uh, finish the, in the contract program will be the 2025 and uh, the dream. And, uh, but we still uh, try to and, uh, deliver and uh, the timing and uh, the program and uh, the quality too, you know. من ورشه لورشه لورشه عم نتعرف عم نكتشف وصلنا هلا على داسكو داسكو اللي حضرتوهم بالفيديو اللي قبل داسكو داسكو سليمي اللي رحت انا وياه على تازمانيا داسكو يلي عم التقى فيهم باغلبيه الحفلات والايفنتس سليمي اللي هو كمان بالاستراليان لبنيز تشامبر اوف كوميرس اني واي وين في عمار في لبناني وين في بنايه في لبناني اذا مش كان هو معمر يعني شي محل هو عم بيعمل لنا معجن هيك نشوف هون شو عنا هلو انتوني سليم نقول احد مؤسسي شركه داسكو مع خي دانيال شركه داسكو بتعمر شقق وللبيع وشوبينج سنترز وكل شيء له علاقه بالبناء نحن بنعمله عندنا مهندسين اكيد بالشركه موظفين بالمحاسبه ومتعاقد مع متعاهدين مشان البطون والحديد وما ذلك. داسكو was established 30 years ago exactly. Uh, the name داسكو stands for Danny and Salim Company. We started off with Danny and Salim and now we employ over 110 employees full time plus contractors, over a thousand contractors. Uh, we've built uh, over seven and a half thousand home units between homes and apartments over the 30 years. We've designed so many of those as well. We specialize in building high-rise buildings, shopping centers, infrastructure, and so forth. Uh, what makes us uh, different to other builders, there's many good builders in the market, probably better than us. Uh, we uh, build our business on being honest, being true to ourselves, uh, paying people on time, and doing the right thing by our client, by the future client that occupy the apartments and by our employees. Lebanese, in its nature, loves the freedom. The building has a lot of freedom to be free in the building. We are in the building because we remember that the Lebanese has the edge. They can find something, they can offer it, they can get the product to the same way, in a lot of time, sorry, in a lot of time. فبرعنا من هالناحية بعدين عن إحنا عنا محاطين بالقرايب والأصحاب فكل واحد يحب يساعد التاني وهي خصوصي مع الجيل الأول والجيل التاني من اللبنانية والعالم تحدت مع بعضه وساعدت بعضه تكلهم نجحوا بفتكر هذا سبب أحد الأسباب اللي خلي اللبنانيين ينجحوا بهالمجال مرحبا أنثني أنا اسمي إيدي شاهين من حادث الجبة أنا جيت لهون كان عمري خمس سنين سنة الواحد وسبعين وتعلمت هون وبنيت بالشغل هون بلشت محاسبجي وبعدين بلشت بالعمار انفستمنت ديفلوب بروبرتي ديفلوبمنت وهلا انا عندي شركه فاينانس شركه ريل استيت بروجكت ماركتينج بشتغل انا وداسكا اني بيكونوا ماي براذر ان لوز 
Uh, I look after anything from site acquisition to marketing, uh, right through to delivery. So together, we have an end-to-end service from buying the site right through to handing over the key to the purchasers. The Lebanese are powerful in this space, in this market segment of construction, because they started off as the tradesmen. They came here from uh, all over Lebanon, but predominantly from the north of Lebanon. And they started off as tradesmen. Uh, and back then, you needed a bit of experience and you can get licensing. So then that evolved into uh, more senior roles as uh, actual uh, builders. And uh, they're now amongst the biggest in Australia in construction. Uh, basically, our role on this third project is compliance. So our company, SDSS, Strata Defect Specialist Sydney, is a company that looks at, uh, uh, follows jobs and makes sure the quality compliances uh, uh, um, in, uh, and ensures that everything is adhered to. So basically as part of the, an insurance that's called the LDI or latent defects insurance, we are supposed to come here once a week and make sure we inspect everything, make sure everything is perfect. So this is our role on this project that DASCO, one of the best builders in Sydney, are, are, are uh, our building and we are part of the whole team, if you like, in delivery. And finally, uh, as a sample of what, what we do is, uh, one of our biggest clients is also St. Vincent's Hospital. So we manage their projects from an idea to completion also. So uh, they come to us, there's a project, we do a budget for that project. We understand the parameters because uh, the funding for hospitals is a little bit different in Australia, where most of it comes from donors and, and uh, and people who want to help hospitals. Um, for example, one example I always give is one of the hardest jobs we did was the refurbishment of their nine operating theatres. This was done in a number of, uh, in a number of uh, stages, obviously, because the idea was to keep uh, servicing their, uh, their patients and, and the idea is to renovate, if you like, uh, the first threes and then the next four, then the next uh, um, then the next two, something like that. So basically we won the job on the basis that we could do that within nine months. And that's one of the hardest jobs as a hospital. And again, what a superb day, Anthony. We loved every moment with you. We thank you for being with me and spending the day. We showed you our, 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 our important involvement in, in the building industry in Sydney. As you can see, we, are, we have from hospitals to commercial, residential, um, universities, uh, childcare centers, all types of projects. And we're, uh, we'd love to see you again. And we'd love, and we wish, I wish I can show you all our projects, which is a little bit harder, but maybe next time you come, we'll do um, another sample of our projects. So to recap, we manage projects from an idea to completion. As quantity surveyors, we manage the budget. 
But then again, banks and financial institutions, they hire us to be their eyes and ears on projects. So we visit projects and we inspect them on a regular basis to make sure that uh, the money that is spent uh, are, are, are being, if you like, uh, uh, being maintained or be, being released by the banks or financial institutions. The last part is also our, our compliance. So we are the only company at the moment, SDWS, that is related to the latent defects insurance, which is a brand new product. You buy a, a residential unit in, in uh, New South Wales and you have a 10-year warranty for it. We're the only company that can monitor the project and give the tick at the end of the job that, yes, we can give them that insurance. So things are happening fast. We, we, we love having you again. And uh, thank you very much for focusing on Sydney. We love this place. We love this city. We love Australia also. Uh, as you can see, maybe next time we can do projects in other states. We're going to talk about the Lebanese diaspora. The Lebanese diaspora is more than 16 million. They are in Lebanon. وبنيوا اشياء كثير مهمه بالعالم، عطيوا البلدان، بنيوا بالبلدان، نجحوا ونجحوا معهم، نجحوا ووظفوا، النجاح مش بس بالناس اللي هي بتنجح بتعمل مصاري لحالها، هي شو الفرق اللي الواحد بيتركه ببلد، بنحكي دائما عن الجاليات اللبنانيه وغيرها، يلي مضبوط قعدت ببلاد، وللبلاد اخذت منا اكيد، بس قديش عطيتها، وهذا الشيء بننسى نحكيه، عطيت كثير، بنيت كثير، واليوم صرت تطلعوا باغلبيه البنى الكبير العظيم بمنطقة سيدني وغيرها باستراليا اللبنانية اللي فيها، نهار كثير طويل فتت أكثر وأكثر بالكولتشر أوف بيلدرز أوف لبنانيز بيلدرز أوف أستراليا، رح نتعرف عليهم أكثر بحلقات تانيين مع مايكل داكول أند كونستراكشن كونسلتنتس، إن شاء الله تكونوا انبسطتوا على الحلقة. رائعة 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 فعلا رائعة من بعد نهار كثير طويل رجعنا على السيتي انا بسميها داون تاون رح اتعشى آه عم بكتشف الشجرة لأول مرة قبل ما فل بعد يومين ات فيلز ويرد انه يكون في صيفية ونص كم وكريسماس بس هن هون معودين حكيت مع كثير ناس قلت لهم واو ناطر الثلج قالوا لنا نحن بنعرف كريسماس بالصيفية ما بنعرف الثلج فكانت ويت ارجع تشوف الثلج وعيش الثلج بجبالنا مين وايل انجوينج كريسماس ان ذا سيتي والشجرة بتع تيكينج ا مومنت تلف حواليا وحواليا 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 والليلة عم نتعشى بمحل ممنوع التصوير فيه ما حدا نصور فيه ولا مرة فيت التليفون بقشطوا التليفون على الفوتة وي جوت ا سبيشال بيرميشن تفرجيكم شو الاكسبيرينس بتكون
amazing stop for drinks tequila all the way and then hala rahin ala al-asha min hon wa rayh telefon bi tashad fa ma ba fikun foto foto telefon ara farjikun hek snippets shoy tat foto bi jaw wa bala ma nzakun experience لفدت 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 مثل ما خبرتكم التصوير ممنوع بس تعرفنا على هاري هاري لبناني صار له تقريبا شيء 10 سنين باستراليا خواجه مرتب مهذب فهمان هو المدير فضل انا ما اصور انا وياه بس خبرني قصه هذا المحل الرائع يلي هي بلشت بهيدي الشركه يلي بتعرف شغلتها بلشوا باول مطعم فتحوا محل بيعملوا بس تي بون ستيك اند ذن هلا فتحوا محل ثاني وهو شوي كايند اوف سبيك ايزي بتفوتوا لتحت عندكم البار شربنا درينكس تكيلا بعقده اند ذن يو موف اون بوشيت بتحطوا فيها التليفون والفكره الاساسيه انه الواحد يقدر يركز على اللي عم بيصير يركز على السنسز تبعه ما يكونوا دينين غير محل عيونه غير محل يركز على الناس شو حلو تشوفوا كل الناس بلا تليفون انا شوي مش زعبرت بس اخذنا اذن تقدر فرجيكم شوي من الاكسبيرينس الاكل كان طيب الفرايز طيبين الماك اند تشيز بتعقد اللحمه روعه اند يو اوردرد ايفريثينج المنيو مثل ما هو نزل على الطاوله اليوم كنت مع اصحابي مع مايكل يلي ما قبل الا ما يدوقني كل شيء اند اي ثانك هيم سو ماتش فور ات شربنا نبيد كثير طيب القعده كانت فعلا الجو كثير حلو بلشنا كلها سوا على الساعه 7 خلصنا على الساعه 11 بين اول بارت وثاني بارت اند ات واز ورث افري ستيب السيرفيس روعه كنت انا عم بخبر انه باستراليا في مشكله اتنشن تو ديتيلز وهذا الشيء ما حسيته اليوم في اتنشن تو ديتيلز في فن في لذه في ويترز عم يضحكوا جنسيته من كل بلدان العالم اسبانيا ايطاليا اند سو اون والكل بده واحد يفل مبسوط وهيدي شغله كثير مهمه الجلاس يعني كبيت نبيد من اغلى اللي ما يكون بلوم رفيعه خفيفه كريستال كلير نبيدات كانوا عظيمين اند اي ريلي انجويد ات ف ذس از ذا بليس وير نو فونز ار الاود تحت الارض بتدقوا الجرس ليفتح الباب ان شاء الله هاري وعدني بالسفرات اللي بعدها رح نرجع نلتقى حبيته كثير and this is how our day ends نحن اليوم نهار الثلاثاء بعد عندنا اربع ايام قبل ما فل على ملبورن enjoying every single bit of this amazing city i call home سيدني بتعقد نهار طويل and see you tomorrow a new episode every day من هالمدينه الرائعه نجاحات رائعه اكتشافات رائعه اكل رائع استراليا حبك <تصفيق>